welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making this gorgeous one pan chicken dish braised in sweet tangy balsamic vinegar to give it a flavor that'll break you out of that boring weeknight chicken routine. Okay, to get started, preheat the oven to 375 degrees and I've got five boneless skinless chicken thighs here, each cut into three large pieces that I've heavily seasoned with salt and pepper. Now toss those pieces into a large Ziploc along with a half cup of cornstarch and shake them around until they're all nicely coated. Okay, now preheat a large cast iron skillet to a medium high heat, then add a few tablespoons of olive oil and brown the chicken on each side, then remove it from the skillet and set it aside. And I did this in two batches since you don't want to overcrowd the pan here. Next, we're going to add three carrots, a red bell pepper, and a large onion, all chopped into large pieces, and saute for about five minutes or until they just start to brown slightly. Then add one pound of cremini mushrooms that you've cleaned and halved, and some of the small ones I left whole, along with a clove of sliced garlic, and saute everything together for another five minutes. Then season with salt and pepper, and remove the veggies from the pan. Now add a half cup of balsamic and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to the pan and stir continuously until the volume is reduced by half. And this is going to happen fairly quickly in cast iron. Then stir in one and a half cups of chicken broth, return the chicken to the pan, simmer for two minutes, then add the veggies and bring it back to a boil. Then finish braising it in the preheated oven for 30 minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, stir in two tablespoons of butter to make the sauce glossy and more luxurious. Then scatter over some fresh chopped parsley and it's ready. And it's perfect over rice or polenta. I made a low carb paleo polenta with ground almonds instead of corn. Whatever you choose to serve it over, I'm telling you folks, you're gonna love this one. It's tangy and succulent and delicious, and it's very easy to make. And if you need a printed copy of this recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.